Hi there, Rick Leinecker here. This presentation will get you started in using JavaScript timers. Now, as you can see in front of me, I have some simple boilerplate HTML code. I have a little H1 to kind of tell what the page is about. Then I have a span tag here, some text, and notice that I have a span within the span and it has an ID that I'm going to use to put text into it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do up here is create a little JavaScript section. Okay, um, we're going to create a variable called counter. We're going to set it to zero. And now we're going to create a function called start counting. And this function actually won't do a whole lot. It just kind of kicks everything off and gets the whole process going. So there's a special function I'm going to use called set interval. And you tell it what the name of the function that you want to kick off is. And although I haven't created this, I'm going to create soon a function called do counting. Oops. And now I'm going to tell it the delay in milliseconds, and one second is a thousand milliseconds, so that is the delay I'm going to go ahead and use. Actually, I think I need to get rid of that semicolon there. That's one of the few cases where semicolon is not welcome. Okay, function. Okay, and this will be my actual counter function. Do counting. Okay. So I am going to use the get element by ID function. And let me just scroll down and make sure I have the name of my span tag correct. Counting text. I'm going to do a little copy there. Come back up here and paste it. And I actually find that if you do copy and paste like that, you end up eliminating a whole lot of typing errors. Because remember, if you don't do it right, it won't work. Okay, and this is going to be really simple. I'm going to just put the uh, number in there. Enter, oops, HTML equals plus, uh, what is that, counter? Just make sure I have that one right. Yes, counter. Now I'm going to increment the counter, just like C++ in Java. There's a plus plus is a unary operator. And I'm going to test it. I just don't want it to wrap past 10. So if counter less than, excuse me, greater than 10, and set it to 0 again. So it counts from 0 to 10 and then restarts itself. And notice that this syntax, the logic syntax, is exactly like it is in C++. Now if I save this and go back and refresh my page, nothing will happen. Okay. Although we have the code and the code is correct, nothing will happen. What I actually have to do is figure out a way to kick this off and there's a special mechanism in the body tag called on load and we'll say start counting and save that but come out here and it starts to count zero um, and the interval is a thousand milliseconds or every second and once it gets to 10 it'll recycle itself and you can use this for quite a few really useful things. Um, you can move stuff across the screen. You can change colors. You can cycle text and so forth. But anyway, uh, that's it for right now, and hopefully you can use this to your advantage.